Good morning, children. Let us continue with our tenth lesson, our Earth. Children, today we are going to learn very important topic: rotation of our Earth. Earth is spinning continuously. It spins on its axis like a top. You must have seen a top, and that spins on its axis. Now, what is axis? Axis is an imaginary line running from the North Pole to the South Pole. Children, while doing the map work. we have seen the north pole and the south pole so the axis is an imaginary straight line that passes through the north pole the center of the earth and then it comes to the south pole it joins the two poles you can say it like this also our earth is tilted at an angle of 23.5 degree so children we can easily say that spinning of the earth on its own axis once every 24 hours is called rotation this causes day and night later we will see how we get day and night the earth always rotates from west to east this direction you have to remember children the earth rotates from west to east you can see in the picture this is the axis which we are talking about it is coming from north pole to the center and then to the south pole it is connected both the poles so please remember children that it is an imaginary line and earth rotates on its axis okay like this so earth axis is this and it is rotating like this from west to east let us talk about day and night during the day we can see the sun in the sky isn't it children this is because our side of the earth is facing the sun half of the earth is facing the sun while the other half is in shadow or darkness this is because the earth is always rotating on its axis you can see here in the picture the sun is there and sun rays are directly hitting this side of our earth so this side will be day and this side will be night have you understood children see children again i am showing the rotation of the earth and this is the earth axis which is connecting the south pole the center and then it is coming to north pole so like this the earth is rotating 
This is North Pole. This is South Pole. And Earth is rotating from West to East. Like this. You can see the arrow over here. This arrow is showing from West to East. Again, from West to East. And what is the degree at which it is tilted? It is 23.5 degree. The earth is tilted. We can do one activity. Take a globe and a torch. Place the globe on the table. Light a torch in front of it. The portion of the globe lit by the torch has day and the half portion remains at dark as it is having night. Thus, when it is night in India, America has daylight. Children, today we have learned about rotation. In the next turn, we are going to see rotation as well as revolution. Let us see one diagram in which both are showing. Here, you can see the sun is here and the earth is here. It is rotating on its axis like this and it is revolving around the sun also. This revolving around the sun is called revolution. And when the earth is rotating on its axis, as we have seen, it is called rotation. We are going to learn about revolution in the next turn. Let us revise again what is Rotation. The Earth's axis of rotation, or the wobble effect. Let's begin by talking about the Earth's axis. The Earth rotates on an axis. The axis is tilted at an angle of 23.5 degrees. The Earth rotates around its axis once a day. The tilt of the axis affects when seasons occur. When the axis tilts toward the sun, the northern hemisphere experiences summer, while the southern hemisphere experiences winter. In half a year, the Earth will revolve elliptically counterclockwise around the sun, while the axis stays tilted at 23.5 degrees. When the axis tilts away from the sun, the northern hemisphere then experiences winter, and the southern hemisphere experiences summer. The axis of rotation, also known as the wobble effect. The Earth's axis has an axis of rotation, and, just like a top, the axis spins. The angle does not change, only the direction of the axis. So children, I hope you have learned about Rotation. Thank you, children, for watching this video.